So like day 12 on Celebrity Big Brother, Sophie wakes up and she goes over to Vicky's bed and Vicky is all like, I think you overreacted a bit last night. No, I didn't. You did, a bit. Okay, whatever. You didn't overreact. Like the whole night, the night before, all you were doing was like, wah, wah, wah. I want to go home. Wah, wah, wah. I hate everybody. Boo hoo. I'm not getting enough sleep. <sighs> Total overreaction. Okay, and then Lauren goes out into the garden. We call it a yard, but whatever. They call it a garden. And then she's like, oh, so, Abs, what was up with the nominations? What do you mean? You had some things to say to your nominations. What are you talking about? The things you said when you nominated me. I didn't nominate you. I'm sure you did. Nah, man. Okay, so, like, Abs didn't really turn his hat. But, in fairness, he wasn't wearing a hat. And maybe he did say she was lovely. But, like, in his mind, he was all like, I'm totally turning my hat towards you right now. And that wasn't even the first time Lauren was confused. The night before, she was all, like, tearing into Louis. Like, oh, you suck because you nominated me. And he was like, what are you talking about, you crazy bitch? Well, he didn't say that. But, like, that's totally something Louis would say. Okay, and then this big mysterious thing happens where, like, the housemates are shown a clip from, like, this weird guy in the diary room, and he's I'm Mr. Big. You'll never guess who I am. I've taken Lauren, Carol, and Mario hostage, and I'm gonna do terrible things to them unless you do everything I say. Is Big Brother, like, putting crack in your lager or what? Because that's totally Mario. Like, I could tell it was Mario. Like, even though the night before they kind of did, like, give a hint that it was Mario, like, still, I mean, come on, like, who else is it going to be? It's totally Mario. Like, his accent and everything? Okay, seriously. But, yeah, so the whole house thinks that they're being held hostage, but really they're not. They're in this, like, great room of luxury, and they get to spy on the rest of the house, which is, like, a totally worn-out plot theme for Big Brother. But, I mean, really, it's been, like, 12 years. How much different stuff can you really do to torture these people in the house? So, whatever. And then, like, Lauren and Mario and Carol are all watching, like, stuff going on in the house, and then this happens. Hey, look, guys. I found some peanut butter. I didn't even know this was here. Okay, so then Carol and Mario are all like, oh my god, Screech totally knew that that peanut butter was there. He was like hiding it and he was sneaking it and running off and eating it all by himself and it was like his own stash of secret peanut butter. Okay, seriously, how paranoid can you be? Oh, no more Mr. Nice American. He had us all fooled. All right, maybe it was just some peanut butter got pushed to the back of the cupboard. I mean, that happens, right? It happens to me sometimes. And I'm like, oh, shit, I didn't even know I had, like, all this mustard. But then, like, the mustard expired, like, two years ago. I mean, it happens. Whatever. Dude, you're totally paranoid. All right, and then um, they get a phone call from Mr. Big, who's totally not Mario, and they get told that their first task is to eat this, like, super nasty food, but, like, Courtney and Screech are all... Oh, my God. I can't eat that. Gross. Yeah. Ew, look, guys. Look, Bruce. Oh, I can't oh eat my that. God. I can't eat that, Bruce. I'm not eating that. Yeah, I can't eat that. I'm not eating it. Oh my god, like way to make Americans look bad. How why is it whenever Americans go on Celebrity Big Brother, they always make the rest of us look bad? Like Lindsay Lohan, seriously? I mean, why didn't you just stay in America or like stay in your apartment or like stay in jail? Because, oh my god, and seriously, I totally just would have eaten it, really. I mean, like I was thinking on the last nasty food task, like why don't you just put it like in a ball and just put it in your mouth and swallow it like a pill? And then that's what Louis said. He was all like, just swallow it like a pill. But like you guys call them tablets, but whatever, they're like pills over here. And like, you know, just don't even taste it, you know, just put it in your mouth and take a drink of water and swallow it. But like, no, they're just like, uh-uh, I'm not even gonna try it. Like green eggs and ham and shit. Oh my god. Okay, and then there was this task where, like, uh, Mr. Big said that Louis had to dance on broken glass, and he, like, I guess, got trained by this person to dance on broken glass without hurting himself, and they put all this glass on a stage, but really it wasn't broken glass, it was, like, made from candy, and so, like, this is kind of what it looks like, like, to me in my head. 
Super and fuck it, Ash. Yeah, and that's like all the really important stuff that happened on Celebrity Big Brother on day 12. So like, I'm gonna watch day 13 tonight and like, we'll see what I think about that. I think that Channel 5 and the Thought Police over there should totally change their rules and let Americans apply to be on regular Big Brother because I'm not a celebrity but I should totally be on Big Brother. And I keep like emailing you guys and they're just like no response. Like they could totally be less of an insult to tell me to fuck off. They're just like don't respond. Like everybody else gets their email about like how to apply and I just get nothing. And like I can't even vote. I try to vote for like who I want to save, but no, my votes don't count because I'm not in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland or whatever. I am in America, so like I'm just a piece of crap, I guess. So big brother, let me in your house. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.